This week on The Wire, price rises tip for 2020. It's cheaper to buy than to rent and lending commitments on the rise. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth. And welcome along to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Our top story for this week, price rises tip for 2020. So forecast by SQM Research's housing boom and bus report for 2020 indicate that most capital city house prices will rise in the next year. So SQM Research Managing Director Louis Christopher says Brisbane and Perth's improving economic outlook will benefit the housing market with home prices forecast to increase by up to 7% in Brizzy and 6% in Perth respectively. Now the forecast is for Sydney home prices to rise between 10 and 14% and Melbourne to jump 11 to 15%. But while the Sydney and Melbourne home values are set to rebound, Christopher says that he doubts the sustainability of the recovery in those overvalued markets. Brisbane is definitely offering better value for money for those who decide to move from Sydney or Melbourne. And that's what Christopher says. Now, elsewhere, Hobart prices uh, could rise by 8%, Canberra 7% and Adelaide 4%. Darwin is the only city not projected to rise as its economy continues to struggle. And these forecasts are based on the assumptions that the cash rate stays on hold, the economy continues to recover, and APRA does not intervene until late 2020. So our next story, it's cheaper to buy than to rent. So there are an increasing number of locations across the nation where it's cheaper to buy than rent. And this is according to new, the New Housing Affordability Report from ANZ and CoreLogic, which has examined the cost of housing as a proportion of average incomes. So the proportion of the income required to pay the rent is roughly equivalent compared with the proportion of income required to service a mortgage across regional Australia. And that's what the report says. On average, renters are dedicating 30.3% of their salary to accommodation costs, which is only slightly below the 30.6% recorded for mortgage payers. Now, ANZ and CoreLogic have noted that rental costs have been trending upwards since late 2016, reflecting an 8.6% rise in rents between the end of 16 and June 2019, while household incomes were up a lower 5.3%. Almost 80 regions Australia-wide have been flagged by ANZ and CoreLogic as are locations where it's cheaper to buy than to rent. Some of these locations include Longlow, Ipswich, Broken Hill, Snowy Mountains, Dubbo, Quinana, Armidale, Brighton and Tasmania, and the Darwin City and Suburbs. Now for our final story, lending commitments on the rise. So owner occupiers are making the most of the current favourable lending conditions and that's showing in the new data from the Australian Bureau of Statistics. The total value of home loan commitments continues to rise month on month, largely driven by owner occupiers, the data reveals. The value of new home loans rose 1.1% in September, following a 3.8% rise in August. New lending commitments are now up 5.6% when compared with September 2018, the first positive year on year result since mid 2018. Now, this increase was largely driven by a 3.2% increase in lending to owner occupiers. Lending commitments for investors fell 4% in September, and the ABS data also showed a decrease in lending commitments to first home buyers of 1.9%, and that's the first fall this year. So first home buyer figures are down 6.8% compared with September last year, and that was before the interest rate cuts and serviceability changes were introduced. According to ANZ Research, these results appear to indicate that overall the Reserve Bank of Australia cuts to the official cash rate is stimulating increasing property demand. Well guys, that's pretty much it for me. Now remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later this week for our Just Ask Tim video series and if you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that guys, have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, action.